Hey guys, it's Monday. Welcome to another shop update vlog. <laughs> I opened my shop last week Tuesday, so it's been almost a week and I'm still packing orders and I will be for the next few days. I'm gonna go on TikTok Live right away, which is why I'm mic'd up. I was just doing some final setup because I realized my row of boxes is visible in the TikTok Live and that's a good spot to display some of my product because you can't really see what the product is in the video. You can see the packing station, but you can't really tell what's what. And so by having some stuff on display, it looks kind of good. I'm just wondering if I should replace these two boxes with sweatshirts or something. But then where am I putting the boxes? I already had to move these ones down onto the floor. I mean, one box type could go here. Okay, I did take the boxes down. I grabbed my sweatshirts. Oh, one fell down. They're mine that I wear. <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap them around these boxes and put them up there. Okay, there we go. I almost should grab a different pink one because we started stitching the design a little higher than what is on my own personal sweatshirt. It's kind of far from the neck. I wanted the neckline a little more visible, but then the strawberries at the bottom of the box. There we go. That should almost be a permanent fixture. Although then my boxes will never be up there, but. It just looks so good. I tidied up the room last night, so it's feeling so open. Oh my goodness. Look at all this, I can see the floor. It's not 100% back to normal. I've got stuff over there, but I took things like the sticky notes and combined them into the same box so I can flatten the excess boxes and get them out of here. That kind of stuff. Hello, rug geek. Hello, window minouche. Oh, so open and Christian's little carts are put away because I don't know if I'm gonna need his help for the rest of this. I mean, I could use his help, but he's working on the totes. This is his workstation once again. He's working on the red ones right now. There are a few black ones left, but I'm getting him to start on red so I can get more of the older orders out. Um, this one here, ooh la la, so cute. Oh, speaking of so cute, oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. Okay, I'm still live streaming, but we have breaking news. <laughs> I got a text message. The green totes are out for delivery. <laughs> out for delivery today. Oh my god. I can't even enunciate. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, everyone say hi to the vlog. Or say whatever you want to say. This is your chance. You're being platformed. We have, how many people there? 65, 66 people here. Hello, everybody. Okay, the TikTok live is over. I streamed for three and a half hours. I did not think it was gonna go that long, but I'm just used to really long streams and so three and a half feels like nothing. <laughs> These are all the packages I did on stream, which really isn't that many. I need to pick up the pace, but it's slower when I'm live streaming. So I had to end the stream so I can work faster, but also I just wanna take a little break, get a little snack and get off my feet for a little bit, maybe just like 15 minute break. And I said on the TikTok live that I might try multi-streaming on, on Wednesday to also be streaming on TikTok because I have the TikTok set up for this area and it streams off of this computer that's right here. And then my other streams, usually I stream off of the actual one over there. But I just realized one problem is gonna be the microphone. The TikTok live would probably have to get the webcam's microphone instead of the clip-on, which is gonna sound a lot worse. It would be that one there. So I'd be kind of far away and then sounds like Rick might be really loud. I don't know, we'll see, I could try it. There was a moment of panic during the live because I only had five strawberry sticky notes left for like the Post-it brand ones. And I was like, there's definitely more orders that need these, especially with the bundles. So then I was freaking out that when I created the bundles originally, I didn't subtract that inventory from the individual strawberry post-its. And so I was freaking out and I was trying to like math things out. And then I did the math, found out it's correct or like seemingly correct. And then I was like, okay, so there should be more strawberry sticky notes, but where are they? And then I had the moment of realization they were on Christian's packing cart. <laughs> So I spent so long stressing over that, being like, I'm gonna have to try to get like a rush order or something, like email sticky notes plus see if they can do a rush order for me. Oh no, I found them, <laughs> I found them. <laughs> Crisis averted. And then right after that, I saw the text about the totes being delivered today and I was like, woo! <laughs> All my stresses are melting away. Oh, hello. Hello, she made an appearance at the very end of the live. I was like, all right, it's ending now, bye everybody. And then she came on the desk and I was like, okay. Okay, a few more minutes with Kiki. Oh yeah, and speaking of Kiki, I decided I'm gonna reveal the next sketchbook cover. I have shown it in live streams before, so some of you already know what the next sketchbook cover is gonna be. Obviously there's Luna Moth in the works, but I also designed a Halloween one 
and I didn't want to reveal it too early because then you would just be waiting forever for it and by the time they're here it would be old news. Even now it feels a little early but I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. Exactly 22,000! That's total orders of all time. Anyway, it's time for the reveal of the next sketchbook. So obviously Luna Moth, you know what Luna Moth looks like, but... Exact colors may vary a bit, but that's that's the basics of the design. Oh, me. <laughs> we got Kiki and Minouche. What do you think, Kiki? Do you approve? Oh, yes. Yes, she does. It's hard to squeeze in everything I wanted because I want heavy on like the leaf and floral design for this theme. But also we have to have both cats, but also some things that are more explicitly Halloween-y. So there's the jack-o'-lantern and the bat. And this is just one version of the design. Like I kind of wanted a ghosty, a little ghosty, but it was hard to squeeze that in here. But I could still do the ghost for other merch, like a little sticker or something. Because I think it'd be fun to incorporate a lot of the floral and leaves into things. Like there could be a sticker that's just kiki amongst the leaves and flowers, and then one that's just Midna, or maybe the both of them. It's 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 hard selling merch of Kiki and Midna because I feel like either they need to be on the same item or they they can be on two separate items but sold as a pair because I don't like I just can't stand the idea of Kiki merch selling better than the Midna merch. It would make me too sad, but I feel like that would be the reality. <laughs> but anyway, like I just kind of have so many ideas in my head. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. Like there could be a bat sticker again with some of the other elements. The bat alone would be kind of boring, but that's an idea. And I want some of the stuff to be a little more autumnal versus some of the stuff being more Halloween-y. Like I just don't want it to all be Halloween-y. And I would love to do at least one sweatshirt, possibly a couple different designs, because I would love a zip-up design with the sleeves embroidered. And then even just for like a regular crew neck slash hoodie, I would want one or two things, but also like maybe a t-shirt. <laughs> this could get way too big way too fast. There's just so many things I could do. In addition to all the regular stationary things I do, and we have totes now, but it would mostly fall under this color scheme, this kind of subject matter. Yeah. And this is very detailed compared to my other sketchbook covers because the sketchbook covers are thick thread embroidery. So I told them it's okay if some of it needs to be regular thread embroidery and I still haven't gotten a photo of what the embroidery looks like which is making me nervous because I placed this order early January and I haven't even seen what the embroidery is going to look like yet because ideally my shop update would be early to mid-August that way people for sure have their Halloween stuff before October because who wants Halloween stationery at the end of October you want to use it throughout October therefore it's nice if you receive it before October so I'm trying to be on time with my seasonal release this year. So hopefully I have everything by early August. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut in here a little bit with some extra info because it's Friday morning and I already had the vlog edited, uploaded, everything, timestamps done, but there's a breaking development. <laughs> when I was editing the vlog, I got to the part about the sketchbooks and I was getting so nervous. I was like, I really should just message the manufacturer. I didn't want to push to be like, are there updates? Because usually they just update me when there's updates but I was getting a little paranoid about it. I'm like, what if the person I'm in contact with left the company or something like that? So I reached out and it turns out that's true. She left the company. So my reply to her got bumped to someone else who then bumped it to someone else. And they were like, I don't know what this order is you're talking about. Like you're gonna have to talk with the original person you're in contact with. And so they reached out to my original contact who then messaged me saying she left the company, but she got someone to forward her some pictures of the embroidery and so I can include those now. But production is going forward. It's all, it's all going forward. But yeah, okay, let me put in the pictures. Although first, I just wanna say the Luna Moth, I knew was gonna look different than the rest of the Luna Moth stuff because they didn't have like that deep bluish purple color that I have been putting on all the Luna Moth stuff. They had just brighter colors and I could get custom fabric dyed, but that extends production time, which is already insanely long and it's gonna cost more. So I just pick from like, their existing color swatches. So this purple is nowhere near the purple of the rest of the collection, but it looks so good. It's making me rethink the whole Luna Moth collection, even though it's all said and done. And like, we've had the Luna Moth update. I'm like, oh my God, this sketchbook looks so different, but so good. And I'm just seeing a photo on my phone screen. So the actual look of the color might be different, but this is what it looks like. 
Because the Ludwath is also very turquoisey, which is how it originally was. When I first designed it, I designed it for embroidery first, and it was very turquoisey. So it is on the sweaters we stitch out too. It's more of a turquoise than a green. But then when I did actual traditional artwork coloring it in, it turned out more green. And so the rest of the Luna Moth merch, the Luna Moth is more on the green side. Even with the enamel pin, I was trying to go a little turquoisey, but I couldn't find a color that wasn't too blue. I was like, I don't want it to be too blue. If anything, it's gotta be more green. So the pin was green, green too, which did match the rest of the collection other than the sweatshirts. But yeah, this, the color of the Luna Moth is a little closer to the sweatshirt color. A little darker it looks like, but oh my God, it looks so good on that lilac color. Like what the heck? <laughs> and then the Halloween cover looks like exact. It looks exactly like what I originally designed because they just try to color match as best they can based on what they have. And that looks exact. So I'm kind of excited. The Luna Moth looks different, but looks so good. And then this one looks exactly like how I wanted. So exciting times. And hopefully everything's on track to get that before August. And I'm gonna get out of here. It's like first thing in the morning. I haven't even showered or anything yet. I'm in my pajama shirt that I sleep in. So. On with the rest of the vlog. <laughs> Those little front paws. Oh, baby. She can sleep peacefully knowing she's the star of the Halloween launch. It's also weird talking about the Halloween update when there's going to be a summer update between now and then. But it's going to be on the smaller side. Like fewer new items. And I want to focus on getting the t-shirts out. The ducky one and the bunny one along with a zip-up sweater. With embroidered sleeves. And the totes were originally going to be part of that, but then I bumped them up to this update, so I'm not sure what else. But I might do a few bunny things. I don't want like a full collection, but we'll just see what materializes. Yeah. You're so cute. So the Luna Moth sketchbook will be released whenever these ones release because they're in the same order. They're going to be coming together. So you're going to have to wait a little while for that, but... Yeah, exciting. Exciting, finally revealing this. <laughs> well, finally revealing it somewhere other than the live streams. Whoa, so spooky. <laughs> and here is the other star of the Halloween update. She's been sleeping here all day. Okay, the green totes are here. Now they are a little different than the red ones. I didn't know that when I ordered them, but they told me after the fact, they said the green ones are not the same brand. This is Tote Bag Factory brand. And this is like a different brand. And that explains why they are more expensive because these were a lot more money than these ones. But I'm selling them for the same price. Just whatever, I'll just make less profit off the green ones. But what scares me is the pocket. This has been the big question is what's the deal with the pocket? Because I wasn't sure if the design was gonna fit on the pocket and I might have to like cut apart some of the elements to have them pressed beside the pocket. And that's why the mock-up was just a loose approximation because I already got the DTF transfers printed before I knew the bags were gonna be smaller. So the pocket width is quite a bit different. So I'm a little nervous. It's a slightly darker color, but more of a textured feel. Um, okay. I'm gonna grab one of the transfers and lay it down and see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Oh, okay. It might like just fit. I hope that doesn't cause any problems because that's really close to the zipper and really close to this seam. Same with the side seams. There's kind of double thickness here where the fabric folds over. I hope that's not a problem because this was like the estimated scale from before. Lots of wiggle room between seams and pocket and stuff. This one, not so much. And then on the back side, we will have this little guy. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> These things have so many loose threads to cut off. I already cut some off this bag and I'm finding more. At least it's easy to line up. <laughs> been taping the design on both sides because then he can just like flip it over in the heat press so it's a little faster. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky because it's so close to the zipper. It's gonna have to... I'm hoping that that's enough coverage. And side number two. See, I try to keep the straps out, but the pillow, pressing pillow probably 
makes it okay. These have a lot of bulk around the straps. Here's an overlay of the bags. This one's defective. I'm missing some stitching, but a little bit less width. Tiny bit less height, but that's pretty close. It's mostly width where it's different. Oh, oh you did the second press already? Mm -hmm. yeah, so it fits. Not too bad. I still wish they were the same as the red ones. I like the size of the red ones, but this is still nice. And the transfer fits. We don't have to cut it up. Christmas is saved! Again, loose threads to trim. One other difference I just noticed is the strap. So the stitching on this side matches the bag and the stitching on this side matches the bag. So do they just glue the two halves of the handle together? How do they do that? I don't know, but on this one they sewed it with green thread and so on the back side you see the green thread. Look how cute they are when Christian folds them and puts them in the sleeves. They fit the width perfectly because the pocket is basically the size of the sleeves. So cute. Versus these ones, which are a little different. <laughs> Although I do like that these ones fit into the square boxes. This one can't, but it just looks so nice. So one's got the cuteness, one's got the convenience. I almost forgot an order came in during the stream earlier. It's from Brenna M & Co. This is the order I placed on stream the other week because I'd forgotten about her shop update and I was like, oh my God, I have to order. Okay. Oh my goodness. The thank you card is a sticker sheet and it's set up like an Instagram layout. How cute. <laughs> That's a pricey thank you card right there. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got some crochet items. And this is why I was so frantic to order because she said she was only making a few of these. I should have left the curtains open, but I just closed them. But now our lighting is not as good. But yeah, so it's advertised as being to hang inside your car, like hanging on your rear view mirror. So you can pull this to make it longer and then hook it over your mirror and pull it back down. Oh, whoopsies. What have I done? Okay, note to self, don't pull it that hard. <laughs> but I might just have to hang it somewhere in this room. I'm so undecided. It would make my car so cute. But also, in here, in here, it suits the decor perfectly. And then I got some flowers. Look at this packaging. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Got some daisies and some lavender. I also wanted a sunflower, but they were sold out. So maybe I'll buy one at a future date if they come back in stock. But look. Oh my goodness. Okay, I kind of want to keep it in here for now. Kiki, no! Even Kiki's checking it out because it's so cute. She does studio vlogs on YouTube, so if you're looking for more studio vloggers to watch, people running their business and whatnot, then go check out her channel. See if you like it. See, if I hang this somewhere like here, it would make this ugly pole look so much cuter. Oh. Oh! That's adorable! Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I got one of these in time. <laughs> Previously on Miley J. And the grass is turning green. It's like truly spring now because we get a lot of false springs. It's not just ice. It's not a frozen tundra. Ooh, we're getting some color back. A few days later. a lot of potato patty. If I couldn't eat all of them, I was gonna give one to Christian, but I ate all of them. They were the last four, so I'm like, I'm cooking them all and we have no toast or anything. So potato patties and eggs it was, and it was delicious. Okay, now I need to get downstairs to quality check some green bags. I'm going through these bags and just checking them over because I've noticed they have a lot of untrimmed threads. Or sometimes loose threads that just get caught up. Like, what is this? 
Now I'm not checking the entire inside, so you might have some loose threads in there. I at least check just immediately around the zipper, but there might be some under the lip or at the bottom of the bag. I don't have time to get them all out. Okay, that's much better. Oh, and speaking of the second tote bag order, it's supposed to be delivered today. So <laughs> it came a lot faster than the previous one. That's what I was expecting with the first bulk order. I mean, technically that was the second. This is technically the third order incoming. But in terms of the two-tone totes, it's the second order. So that's a relief. <laughs> I'm not gonna get as many orders done as I wanted to. Even yesterday I didn't get as many done as I wanted to, but I stopped at one point to test some things out. I can't really disclose what it is because it's for a gift for someone, but I just had some supplies come in and I had to double check that this was actually doable and would work. But I can't actually make the stuff until after the shop update. But I didn't want to wait until then to test it because that would be too late. In case it went horribly wrong, you know? I have 144 of these. Well, right now I have 72, but I will have 144 of them by the end of the day. So this is gonna be fun. Another thing I've noticed is that, if you read the tag in here, it says not meant to be washed. The other ones say you can machine wash cold. But apparently these green ones are not meant to be washed, whatever that means. <laughs> Do you have okay. something I should pull out of the oven? <laughs> I'll go get it. I just need to flip my hash browns. Okay. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from Stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time I go through one more bag of totes and then take a break from it because I can sit down when I do these totes which is nice so if I pack orders for a while and then I feel like I want to sit down for a bit I can come sit down go through more totes I just want a decent amount built up for Christian to do today but yeah my sticker order is here I rush ordered more I mean <laughs> I didn't place a rush order but I just placed an order knowing it would come quickly because they're local because um, I ran out of the Luna Moths so quickly. I restocked them immediately as they were selling out, even though I didn't have the replacements on hand yet. And I did the same thing for the strawberry sticker. Fresh start for your heart. Because it's shaped like a heart. <laughs> 2024, may this be your best year yet. Whoa. There they are. So I mostly ordered back view Luna Moth because as a solo sticker, that's more popular than side view. And then for the straps, I ordered 150 only as I don't want to overdo it. It's not new. It's not like it was dropped this shop update. It was dropped in the fall. So I don't want to restock too, too many because I'm only selling them here and there right now, but it was just too soon for it to be out of stock. So I had to get more. Okay, I've got a few different piles going on here. These are my A grades, I have about 23 of them. These are ones that I could immediately tell were a B grade, so I didn't bother cutting off the strings and just set them aside to cut the strings later. These are B grades that are cleaned up. And then these ones are kind of like iffy, like they could be an A grade. And since the flaw rate is higher than expected, I reduced the available inventory for the pre-order by a lot. I left only 10 left for pre-order because I just don't know how many A grades I'm gonna get out of these. But I can tell you, there's gonna be a lot of B grade ones listed in the discounted section of the website once we eventually get them all made. So be on the lookout. <laughs> I think there's enough transfers here to do the A grades. So that's good. That's probably enough for Christian to do today if he even gets around to all of them because he's doing some other totes right now. 
So I'm gonna start packing orders. Oh, I forgot about my double espresso. It's just been sitting here the whole time. Some green totes ready to go. Yeah, I'll just come back for more actually. <laughs> no sense in overloading this. Here's a post supper snow update. It's mostly melted. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. Do I want to stand all day? No. This body's just not used to standing all day every day. It was used to it in the past, but not used to it these days. My knees hurt. My feet hurt. These are a huge lifesaver though. These are great. So much added cushion. Here's what the main floor currently looks like with just boxes and crap everywhere. <laughs> These are the totes. We have one box of red and one box of green, two boxes of black. And when I see the side, it means tote bag factory, but all I can think of is to be fair, to be fair. Around the corner is also all this. All the packages to go out today, plus anything I pack before 2.30 should be able to go out today too. Maybe I'll do the cutoff at two just to be safe. Yesterday was way too tight. I was like, okay, I should stop packing orders. So I bagged them up and then the doorbell rang before I could even print the manifest and I was scrambling. So let's not cut it that close this time. I went through more green totes last night just so Christian would have some for today. He definitely doesn't have enough to last him the whole day, but I will need more red ones too, or possibly black ones, black strawberries, I don't know. Either way, he can move on to something else once he's through the green ones. And I have just over 200 orders left to pack, at least as of last night, I think it was just over 200. And I've not been hitting a full 100 on days when I pack alone, so <laughs> I probably will still be packing through to the end of Friday. And hopefully tote production will keep up with what I need. There's a dead spider on the table. Did he crawl up there and die? Did he fall off a cat? Did he fall from up here? Honestly, I don't think a spider can really crawl up onto here. I don't think it's possible unless they can walk on the underside of the glass. Mysterious. I decided I am not multi-streaming to TikTok today. Not because of the microphone issue, but because I don't wanna to have to follow the TikTok guidelines. Like, I don't wanna force my stream to have to be kid friendly and super PG and not say certain words.
Oops, I forgot this was running. <laughs> this is going for almost six minutes. Oops. I'm gonna try to go through one more bag of these before the stream starts. I also need to cut some strawberry DTF and then I would need to cut more DTF for these if I do find more A grades, which I'm sure I will, but I've been getting like 50% B grades. <laughs> Started using these flat tweezers to save my fingers because my thumb was getting sore on the side. So yeah, I can probably do this for like 45 minutes then I gotta eat and set up for the stream. Okay, that was actually a good bundle of these. There were nine A grades, three B grades. It's now 4.30, I ended the stream a little earlier than I usually do because people are coming over. We both kind of forgot that that was today. <laughs> so midstream, I swept the main floor, just like a quick and dirty sweeping, mostly of the kitchen area, cause it was so crummy. I've been neglecting the cleaning because of the shop prep and then actually packing all the orders for the shop update. So this house is not clean. And I cleaned the toilet on the main floor, at least the inside of the bowl I cleaned. And then I also added a little bit of makeup midstream, just like the brow mascara blush. <sighs> Cause yeah, a couple people are coming over and I'm assuming we'll give them a tour of the house and then we're gonna go out to eat. So I might also change out my top. It's now Thursday morning. Last night was fun. And I'm glad I did a speed tidy just cause I've been neglecting the house so much. It was nice waking up and seeing the house less chaotic. I've been going through green totes this morning so I have more ready for Christian. And so I just gave him a big pile and that's enough to get through all remaining orders plus a few extras. I haven't gone through all of them yet but I just can't put too much time into that cause I gotta keep packing orders. And I have them put back into bags and labeled. So these are B grades with all the threads trimmed off. So these are ready to press technically. And then these are B grades that are untrimmed. And then these ones I wrote donate cause I feel like I don't even want them to be B grades but they're still functional. Like someone could get use out of these. So donate. I'm not gonna be restocking these green totes. So if you got one, it's kind of a limited thing, but I'm just, I'm not ordering them again. <laughs> and I'm not gonna seek any kind of refund cause I feel like they kind of warned me when they messaged me being like, hey, the green ones are different. We can't guarantee they're the same quality as our own brand. And so I feel like I'm just gonna deal with the consequences. I don't even know if I'm gonna sell all of them. Like the remaining bags I haven't even gone through. I'm like, Am I gonna sell these or am I just gonna donate them? <laughs> if I sell half the bags, I've made back what I spent on them. So that's good enough for me in this kind of situation. <laughs> it's just about quarter after five now. I have not been filming much today, but I was scrambling to get some orders done before the mail pickup and I got a decent chunk done. I also cooked a like, more elaborate lunch than I usually would. <laughs> like usually I just have more like a brunch, like eggs and toast or something 
but we're out of so much food right now we really need groceries and so i was like okay we got some canned soup we got some pasta like i'll combine the cream of broccoli with the pasta and i'm like oh well i want protein let's thaw some chicken and i it's like not a crazy meal but it's more time than i usually take away at lunchtime but it was a nice change of pace i guess to get away from the ordering and we have leftovers now for tomorrow but i also felt guilty because i'm like oh i could have been using that time to pack orders and then i'm like you're cooking yourself food you're fine <laughs> i've been guilty myself a bit about my progress like i should be doing more orders per day but it's hard when i'm also like doing tote things and cutting dtf and what have you just editing the vlogs but we're getting there we're getting there uh i still have 153 left to pack so that's not the best <laughs> I feel like people have been waiting a while, like it's been a week and a half since the shop update. What also slows me down is skipping orders because I gotta skip the ones I don't currently have totes for, but then Christian will have a batch of totes done, so I'll go back and like sift through those orders being like, okay, which ones can I pack now? And it's a lot. <laughs> I don't like this system of making the totes during the shop update because the order sifting plus not having Christian to help me pack orders because we could be through them twice as fast if I have him helping me. So I'm learning a few lessons. <laughs> with this shop update. And when I said earlier about the green totes not being restocked, like there will be more added to the store inventory from what I currently have. Like we haven't pressed any of the B grades yet and I added 30 to the shop, but that was just like an estimate for B grades. I'll probably be adding more. So like more might pop up, but I'm not gonna order in more of the green totes. So I'm kind of stuck with the two-tone red, there's also a blue, but it's like a bright blue, like a royal blue. <laughs> then there's two-tone black and then all natural, the natural color that is the base color of the tote. So the black one could be cool for Halloween, but I don't know how many of these two-tone totes I'd go for in the future. I'd have to like think of something that would look good on this specific color of bag because my options are kind of limited. I thought I had more options like a cute pastel pink and a brown, but those are all the same brand as the green ones. At least I'm assuming so because they're all in a separate listing. It, it was really weird because like there were some green ones listed in the main listing, but then there was a separate listing for all the other colors. So I think that separate listing is the separate brand. But the green ones were available in the original listing if you bought them by the case. So maybe they're not supposed to be listed there. I don't know. Nobody cares, nobody cares. <laughs> I'm just trying to say, I feel like my options are a little more limited for those two-tone totes. Oh, I looked at how many total orders I've had for this shop update. 799, one away from 800. <laughs> so basically 800, which is a lot better than like all of last year's shop updates. So thank you so much. It's been very successful. And the fact that a lot of the Luna Moth stuff sold so quickly, like that just goes to show, I guess, how popular <laughs> the Luna Moth was. So thank you so, so much. I'm so tired yet so grateful. <laughs> I'm like really losing steam, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really losing steam, but it's a good problem to have. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna bother filming a Monday vlog for you because I just wanna focus on making sure all the orders are done this weekend to go out Monday. Plus I just feel like I run out of stuff to vlog about during these shop updates. Although this vlog, I did really good at like filming other things that aren't just order packing because a lot was going on, but the weekend's just gonna be packing straight through so <laughs> I'm just not gonna film so the next vlog will be up next Friday but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> so four of the budget tulip garlands that would be these ones this is for Tiffany one two three four two male cat washies oh, I just took my ring off uh, two discounted strawberry two budget strawberry 